Finance fam, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to cover a question that I got in my DMs on Instagram. And the question is, is VTI, which is an ETF or exchange traded fund, is VTI a good investment for the long term? So let me answer that for you. For those of you who don't know, very quickly, ETFs are basically uh, very simple instruments that make investing easy. You buy one thing, which is your fund, your exchange traded fund, and with that, you get access uh, to a bunch of different stocks that you now have ownership of. So the question is, is VTI a good investment for the long run? And the answer is maybe. VTI, aka the Vanguard Total Stock Market uh, ETF, what this fund does, it invests in corporations, aka stocks, in the United States. So what this is doing is it's giving you access to small caps, mid caps, large caps, mega caps, aka companies of all shapes and sizes that trade in the United States or on the United States exchanges. So remember, this is simply getting you access to US corporations of all sizes. I like VTI. I think it's great to put in a portfolio, but it's not going to be a fully diversified portfolio by just owning VTI. And here's the reason for that. Let's take a look at the allocation of the stocks that are in VTI. You'll notice that first it's an allocation to 99% stocks and a little bit of cash, right? So obviously this is very uh, stock focused. You're not going to get access to other asset classes with this ETF. Now let's take a look at the actual region exposure, meaning what countries um, does this ETF invest in? And you can see that it's 99.22% uh, North America. Okay, so this is going to be a US fund. This is going to invest in US companies and you're not going to get much international exposure. There's a tiny bit of European exposure in here, but you're not gonna get much international exposure with this fund. But what I really, really like about this is if you're wanting to invest in US stocks, I love that it's diversified across small, medium, and large cap companies and even, you know, mega cap companies, right? Your big tech companies. So if you're looking to get invested in US stocks, I like the idea of being diversified across multiple sizes of companies because sometimes small cap companies perform better than large cap companies. In 2020, guess what the best performing asset class was? It was small caps. So you never really know who's gonna win that race and that's why I like having a mixture of uh, different sizes of corporations in my portfolio. If you invest just in the S&P 500 index fund, then you're only going to get access to those large cap, giant cap corporations. And that is okay, but it's just not going to get you the diversification that you might be looking for. Another thing that I like about VTI is the sector exposure. It's truly diversified across all 11 sectors. I like that it's got some energy in there. I like that it's got the financial sector in there. And right now, you know, it's just nice to be extra diversified because energy is actually holding up earnings right now. So it's nice to see that VTI is diversified across all of the sectors versus looking at something like uh, the QQQ, which invests in NASDAQ companies or the NASDAQ composite companies, you know, that's going to be very tech heavy, very tech focused. You aren't going to see a lot of energy exposure. Um, you may see some financial services exposure, but maybe not as much as you would in other ETFs. So that's what I really like about VTI. It's also very inexpensive to own VTI. Typically ETFs like this are inexpensive, but VTI is exceptionally inexpensive and it's only three basis points to uh, own this a year. To put it into perspective, 100 basis points is 1%. So three basis points is basically like nothing. So in short, I like VTI. I think it's a great ETF to have in your portfolio if you're looking for a diversified US stock market fund, right? If you're looking to invest in US corporations of all sizes, I think VTI is great. Is it gonna give you full diversification in your portfolio? No. 
you're probably going to have to add in some type of bond ETF, some commodities or crypto or some REITs if you want some real estate exposure into your portfolio. So depending on how you want to allocate to different asset classes, VTI isn't going to be your end all be all unless you're wanting to be 100% US equities, right? If you're wanting to have international exposure or exposure to other asset classes, this alone is not going to do the trick, but still a great ETF nonetheless. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already subscribed. If you have a question that you want me to answer similar to this, please put it in the comments below or you can always shoot me a DM through my Instagram or other social media channels with your question and I'll try to get it answered here on the channel for you. See you next time.